Bruh, this movie is not quite as hype as it used to be. It's still pretty, it's still pretty hype filled, but it's not quite as hype as it used to be. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to Everyday Nerd B-Sides Edition. I'm your host, Zack Snyder, and on the B-Sides, we take a look at anything and everything in the same format as your Everyday Nerd. They're just shorter, unsponsored episodes. We're continuing our road to Avengers Endgame. I still remember when I saw the Avengers in theaters. Here was an event that nobody ever would have guessed we'd actually see on the big screen. But it was there, and it was amazing. But this was also seven years ago. I've changed a lot as a person in those years. The MCU has changed and grown a lot in those years. So I'm wondering, after seeing all of these films, is Avengers still a good movie? Does it have the same spectacle that it once had? And is it worth rewatching before Endgame? started. For those that don't know anything about it, The Avengers is the sixth film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, released in 2012 and directed by Josh Whedon and the Russo Brothers. For many people, this isn't just a film, or even just a superhero movie. This was a Marvel in cinema, pun intended. Never before have we seen such a massively hyped team up as The Avengers. Not only were we getting Iron Man, Captain America, The Hulk, Thor, Black Widow, and Hawkeye on a screen together but we had been prepared for this event for the past four years, ever since the end of Iron Man 1. This was something that we had been waiting for. The Avengers follows the events of all the past five films in the MCU. After Loki, Thor's brother has come to Earth in an attempt to rule the world, Nick Fury of S.H.I.E.L.D. calls upon Earth's mightiest heroes to stop him. But it's not exactly that simple, because we also find out that Loki has been working with an alien race called the Chitauri and is seeking a full-out war with Earth. So it's up to the Avengers to not only stop the bad guys, but also kind of get along with each other for more than five minutes. Don't get me wrong, I really like this film, more than the past few films we've talked about. But that doesn't mean that it is a perfect film, and it doesn't mean that it is as hype as it once was. Because look at it this way, seven years ago, this was the first film that we'd seen all of these heroes in a movie together. And it was amazing. But then we had Age of Ultron, and then we had Civil War, and then we had uh, even Spider-Man Homecoming and Thor Ragnarok had other heroes in it. And then the, the Magnum Opus, Infinity War, was, which is the best film of all time. Don't at me, okay? It's the best film of all time. Either way, I'm not as hyped for the first Avengers movie as I once was. But I wouldn't say that I don't still love it as much, if not more, than when I first saw it. For one thing, the initial meetings between the Avengers are the best part of this film. I could have easily just been as happy with the movie if there was no big fight scene in the third act, just because the banter between Tony Stark and everyone else is amazing. The accidental fights between Thor and Tony, Thor and Hulk, Hulk and everybody else was so dope. I'd argue that if you're going to watch the Avengers at all, it's because of the character interactions that you should do so. There is character growth and developments in this individual film alone that works from the past films, and, and it really makes it worth it. But my main criticism with the film ends with its third act. I, I will say briefly that the first act wasn't particularly great either. In fact, I actually got bored with the majority of it. I understand why it was set up in the way that it was. It's a lot better than other superhero team-up movies. Look at you, Justice League. Never want to see that again. But the, the problem with the Avengers is that there's exposition dumps that I just don't care about. And while I do love the introductions to Bruce, Steve, and Tony particularly, even Thor, it just felt like the, everything in between those were really, really boring. Again, when I'm looking at something like Infinity War, and I don't want to compare the two, but you kind of have to. When I'm looking at Infinity War, all those extra moments in between meetings and stuff were still just as hype. The second act of Avengers, though, was definitely more entertaining and exciting to me. This is where all of my favorite character interactions do happen. So for me, this film can really only be judged on a few different criteria. One, on the character interactions, which I already said were great. Two, the use of Loki as a main villain, which I'll get to in a bit. And three, the use of the Chitauri, which some people would argue isn't a big part of this film, but I would say that they do make it a big part of the film, and it hinders it for me. As far as Loki, I really haven't fell in love with this character yet. 
it really does take until Thor Ragnarok for me to actually appreciate his place in the MCU. Doesn't mean he's bad here. In fact, I like him more here than in Thor, and he is my favorite villain in the MCU at this point, but there's just something missing for me. My favorite part about his character is the scene halfway through the film when they're on this giant ass plane and everything, I do mean everything, just kind of goes off the rails. It puts our heroes in actual danger. I felt like there were actual risks. Someone dies, and this is the first time that we get the Avengers working together. It's super dope. Loki is the crux of all this, and I like what he's doing here. I just kind of wish there was more of him in the film, because we do find out that Loki is working with the Chitauri under the direction of Thanos. Now, I should go ahead and say that Thanos being in the MCU this early was really f***ing hype. I can't express how excited I was to see him in the after credits scene. Not only did we just get our first Avengers movie, which was enough for most people, but we're going to see one of the best and biggest villains in comic book history on the big screen, and that was insane to even fathom. Unfortunately, Thanos doesn't appear until the after credits scene, and it is the Chitauri in which he is involved with that, that are just boring, mindless enemies with no personality that are literally just sent there for a war. Were the fight scenes cool? Sure, there was some really awesome stuff in the third act of the film. I loved how badass Black Widow and Hawkeye were, and I hope to see more of that in the future, because honestly, they kind of got the short end of the stick in Infinity War. I love that Tony almost died. I completely forgot that that was going to happen, and it was still a pretty good gut punch, even though we know he's going to be fine. I love how Stark Tower turns into the Avengers Tower. I love the destruction of New York and how it's going to affect the future films in the franchise. I love all these individual character interactions throughout this entire fight, and I love that Thanos is behind it all. In other words, I love the implications of this film on the rest of the universe more than I love this giant CGI fight scene at the end though. Was it a better fight scene than some superhero movies? Yes, absolutely. There's an entire what looks like a one shot throughout this fight that's so good. And I would much rather watch this fight scene 10 times than watch the 30 minute fight scene in something like Man of Steel again. But that's why Avengers is still a mixed bag and it puts it in this weird place for me. If you've never seen the Avengers, definitely watch it. It's a good first superhero team up movie with amazing character interactions. The events in this film do impact the rest of the MCU as well, which makes it quote unquote required viewing. If you're rewatching the MCU before Endgame, do you need to rewatch this one? Honestly, I would say that's up to you. If you like a bunch of action with enemies that don't particularly have anything exciting about them, then go for it. If you don't remember how these characters met each other for the first time, go for it. But if you're kind of like, yeah, I remember how Avengers went and it was a fun movie at the time, but I'd rather get to some of the better films, then you'd be okay to skip it. Again, I like this film. I don't think it's bad at all. I just think the MCU has done much better in the villain department. When you compare the first Avengers to something like Infinity War or even Civil War, it's clear that the grandness of it all has been done bigger and better since then. This is still a great film in the MCU, just one that I don't think I need to see as much of the others in the future. But that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If for reason you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike button. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on the Avengers are. The next film we're going to be talking about is Iron Man 3. So get hyped as we finish that trilogy. Anyways, go ahead and subscribe for more Everyday Nerd. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.